We did a session with Rupert Neve Designs um, at Fire Station Studios with Grupo Phantasma where we had the 32 channels of the RMPs and I was just blown away about the end result. After the Grupo Phantasma session, I ended up buying some of them myself for my own rig. So I'm using them in a mobile situation to where it makes, just makes it, for one, easy on my life, um, where we roll them into a room and plug the mics directly into them. The pre's all go to a bridge which converts it to a Digilink cable. Depending where I'm working, I'm either going to a, some kind of monitor controller or to a desk off of their Pro Tools rig for the to listen back from. You know, when you go start going to these different spaces, it's been a minute. I haven't been freelance for a while, but I notice I keep running into scenarios. You never know what you're going to get when you roll into a studio. And there's a lot of nice studios, but they might have a you know, an old Neve console like with 1073s and there might be a lot of scratchy pots and some of the channels might not work and then it just takes time to troubleshoot and go through all that. What's great about the RMP D8s, you plug right into them, you know they're going to work, it's class A, you got the transformers and then I'm just running an ethernet cable into the control room. Currently we're working with the Peterson brothers and so we're running 24 channels of the RMP D8s. And sonically, they're just, it's sounding just as amazing as I remember from the Grupo session. Going forward, basically they're gonna be used to where I can go anywhere and make a record. So one of the ideas is we could rent an Airbnb on a river or like on a beach or in the woods or wherever we wanna do, or just an inspiring space that might be sonically cool to work in that you don't really have access to a bunch of high-end gear. The idea would be to roll 32 channels in where you can capture a band in a cool, unique space. I was a little worried that you didn't have EQ and compression, but the sounds coming back are so good that we didn't even really need any. I'm pulling a rough mix up in the control room. And I was just like, okay, I mean, we're kind of done. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's ridiculous.